I'm home, baby. Oh, man, this is the life. American plastic surgery is too expensive. Get out! Move it, quick! Oh, Dad, please! No, no, no! Dad, no. I won't move an inch until you buy me a car. Why do you always trouble me with the same thing? Damn you, Jimmy, damn you. Just go away. Please don't disturb me. Let me watch Princess Bubble. Not now. I ain't got time Come for this Come on, shit. Dad. Please. It's useless talking to this guy. I better go and relax somewhere else. On your time. You see that? Sick. I'm dangerous. And Dad is really weird. He shouts while pooping. He has really gone nuts. Oh, well, never mind that. Let's go and greet him. Hey, Dad, how you doing? So will you now buy me a car? What the fuck? Man, oh, man. Shit. You are out of control. Oh, you're a psycho, you know that? He isn't even leaving me alone while pooping. Damn this kid. Oh! Hold up a minute. All right, Dad, take your time. I will be here, waiting all day. The next day. Whoa, it's really cool sunny day today. Just let's not hope Jimmy to ruin this day, dude. Man, that kid has just troubled the hell out of me from yesterday. He doesn't let me poop. He doesn't let me watch television. He doesn't leave me some alone time with Amanda. Man, I'm just sick of this kid. All right, there he is. Oh, I see. He is enjoying some alone time. Well, that's good for him. But what about my car? He still hasn't said yes to me. All right, people. Let's damn, go. Damn, damn, damn. He is here again. Don't tell me car. he is here to bother me with that same crap again. Hey, Dad, good morning. I see you're enjoying some alone time without even care about my car. Why are you ignoring me, Dad? You see, I have been asking you a car since. What was the year? Oh, man, can't even remember. But I remember I'm asking you this from a long time. But you always kept ignoring me. Why is that, oh, Dad? Oh, just shut Why? up with that sentimental crap. I ain't gonna fall for that. Just shut your mouth and go away. A no means no. Why can't you get this through that thick head of yours? Chill out with that. Come on, please. Please just buy me a car. Oh, ah! 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 Ooh, will ya? Shut the fuck up! Ah, shut up! Ah, screw you! Are you kidding me? Not so long ago, that would have been child abuse. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, prick. Now get going already. Don't make me hurt you anymore! Just accept this, it's a no. Fuck off, you psychotic idiot! I don't know why I even bothered asking from a loser like you. I should have known better. This is so not cool. J-Dog, get it together! I suck balls. I suck. I shouldn't have done that, but this is for the best. I did this all for him. Come on, Big J. Lame. Aw, oh, super lame. Just look at his car. Man, that's so cool. Man, I wish I was in his shoes. He is really one lucky guy to have such an amazing car. Oh, oh, he left the car keys. Maybe I should tell him that. Hey, 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 bro. Hold on a minute, Doc. Just wait right there. What is it, kid? Why did you stop me? Is there anything that you want to talk or what? Oh, just hold on a minute. He left the car keys when I was upset about a car. Maybe this is all God's doing. I think he is watching. So I guess that's the reason why he left the car keys. God really wants me to see Hey, happen. kid, I'm talking to you. Don't you dare ignore me. Oh, no, no. It's nothing, bro. I was just saying that. You have a really nice car. Man, kid, nowadays are such a pain in the ass. All right, it's drinking and music time. All right, let's do this. Jimmy, let's do this. All right, here it goes. Oh, man, poopy, I was Jimmy right. Man, woo! Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. All right, gotta do it slow. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Woohoo, this is so damn cool. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Go J-Dog. Go J-Dog. All right. I better take a quick round and come back and park this car right at its place. Oh, crap. I think I forgot my keys in the car. Maybe I should go and pick that. 
I will continue this later in a short moment. A few moments later... Jimmy, Jimmy was really excited. What are in that excitement, Jimmy forgot BJ, to park the car at its BJ. awful place. And cool. Jimmy was driving the car at a full speed. And the Los Santos police couldn't ignore that. So the cops started the chasing cops. Jimmy. Stop so let's see what's gonna happen Pump. next. Uh, police! Police, get rid of them! I don't want to go to prison! Ah. Ah. Are you kidding me? This sucks. Lame ass Mark. This is whack. Just stop shouting and get out of your car now. Hurry up, do it quick. Just stop, what did I say about not shouting? How dare you drive car at full speed? You're being charged for breaking the rules of speed limit. I've seen this kid from somewhere, but I just can't remember I'm from where. Sorry. I'm sorry, officers. Please forgive me. Oh, yeah, I remember him now. He was with Michael that day. I guess he's his son, like father, like son, eh? Hey, kid, if I'm not mistaken, you're Michael the Santa yes, kid, right? Yes, I'm his son, officer, and it just happened so. That today is my birthday, and my dad gifted me this car as my birthday present. So you see, officer, as of the excitement, I really lost my control over the car. So I'm sorry, officer. Please forgive me. I will not break the rules again. So, Officer Luke was right all along. Where in the hell is my car? I searched at every nearby places, but still I couldn't find that. Some asshole robbed my car, and the last person I saw lurking around my house was that kid. Don't tell me it has got something to do with that kid. Damn it, I'd better inform the cops about this. Whoever it was, he is not going to get away with my car. I'm gonna make that bastard pay. So, Officer Luke, what should we do with him? Just hold on for a second, officer. I'm getting a call from an unknown number. Let me check who it is. Hello, officer, officer. I need your help. Please help me. Some bastard robbed my car. I could really use your help right about now. You see, I parked my car right in front of my house, but I just forgot my keys in the car. And later when I remembered that, I came out to collect the key. But what I found was when nothing. When will it end? When will it end? Ugh. If this keeps going, I'm gonna have a coronary. Hey, kid, did you just say something? No, officer. I was just thinking about a speech for... For what? My birthday. Oh, yeah! My birthday. Okay, okay, calm down, I got that. Now, please tell me your car model name, the color and everything. All right, officer. I will say you everything about the car. The car paint was sky blue, and the model name was Zoruzo, and it was newly released in Los Santos. What? You gotta be kidding me! What is it, officer? Did I say anything wrong? No, no, no! You're right on point. It just happened so that we just caught a car with the same details that you just said to me. But the kid is telling us that it's his car. Why don't you come to East Vinewood near the mountain? That bastard is lying! Alright, I'm coming, officer! First, that bastard lurks around my car. And then later, he goes and steals my car. How dare he does that? I'm gonna go and knock that bastard out. He's gonna pay for ever laying his hands on my car. I'm gonna get him! Alright, kid, you can go now! Thanks a lot. Just get back here, you punk! You're not going anywhere. I was right, you guys are really the same. Like father, like son. Hey, officer, I know that you hate my father, but believe me, I'm nothing like him. You see, he is a criminal, and I really despise criminal myself. This all just happened by a mistake. I'm sorry for breaking the speed rules. Please forgive me, officer. Now, please just let me go. Just shut the hell up, bastard! This isn't any more about the rules! You just lied to us, didn't you? This car doesn't belong to you! Ain't that right, eh? Come on, spill it, punk! What do you mean by that, Officer Luke? What are you saying, Officer? <coughs> My father gives me this as a present. Just stop lying, you son of a bastard! Officer, you see, he's been lying to us all this time. This isn't his car, and in fact, it's not even his birthday! This bastard just stole this car! Just like how his dad does! And the person who just called me was the real owner of this car! He told me that a kid was lurking around his house, and I can assure you that it was really him! Come on, spill the truth before I hurt you! Okay! Okay? Yes. I stole this car, but I had no intention of doing that. Please, please, just hear me out, officers. 
Just shut the hell up! We don't want to hear anything from you. I guess we should have expected this. Coming from a criminal son. I think I prefer video games to the real life. Just let me go, officer. How dare he steals my car? I'm gonna knock the shit out of him. I will make that bastard pay. Just let me go, let me go. Just calm the fuck down. Chill down, take a deep breath and relax. Leave him for us to handle. We will take care of him. <gasps> Okay, okay, officer, if you say so. Hey, you bastard, you just got lucky. I respect the law or else I would have destroyed you. Thank this officer is for saving your ass, you punk-ass bastard. J-Dog, get it together! I better call my friend, so he can drive the other car back to my home. I suck balls. I suck. Come on, Big J. Lame. And just oh, like this, the cops lame. arrested Jimmy. So what's gonna happen next? Is there prison life waiting for Jimmy? Or Michael will save him? Keep watching to find out. And later, after arresting Jimmy, the cops informed Michael about this. This is too real for me. This is so not cool. I need help. I don't want to die. A few moments later. Jesus! What is wrong with you? Uh, you douche! Whoa! Hey, come on! Chill out with that! I was afraid of this, but still you went ahead and did it. Didn't you, son? There was a reason why I wasn't buying you a car. You see, this is Los Santos, where everyone tries to be the king. I thought if I buy you a car, you would go rogue. I thought you would do late night hangouts with goons. I thought you would join gangs. I was really afraid from all of that, because I didn't want my son to be like me. I wanted you to be better than me, Jimmy. I don't want to see my son as a criminal. I want to see my son as good, loyal, and a passionate guy. But after today, I think I can't expect that Dad, from you. No! Isn't that right, Jimmy? Hey, Dad, I'm sorry. This all just happened by a mistake. Please believe me, Dad. I had no intention of doing this. Please bail me out. I promise I will never do this again. Okay, sure thing, I believe you, son. Let me go and talk to the officers. And later, after talking to the cops, Michael finally somehow managed them to listen to him, and he paid the fine debt. You're gonna get your freedom? But don't you ever do this again! I promise, officer, I will Woo! never do this again. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot for helping me out. Sure Dad. thing, Jimmy, my son. All right, family, let's go. Let's get out of here. And once again, thank you, officers, for letting Jimmy out of the cell. And now Jimmy was finally out of the cell, and it's all thanks to Michael. And now Run. fast forward one week later, Michael finally buys Jimmy in super car. All right, Jimmy, my son, here you go. The car that you always wanted. But please don't do that ever again. J-Dog likes. J-Dog likes a lot. I'm going to die happy. This is too good. What are they shouting? Big J, Big J, the crowd goes wild. Big J gone big. Thank you. You're nice. Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel Osprey Gaming. And in today's video, Michael and Franklin are gonna steal a trillion dollar flying car. As you can see, Simeon is with them and he has given them the location of where that car has been held. But it's pretty damn hard to steal the car because it's been held at the Los Santos police station. So what are they gonna do? Why not just hear it from them? So without ado, let's I begin the video. I know that you can pull this, but please don't get caught and please, please, please wear the masks that I just gave you now, cause I don't want the cops to recognize your face. That's the last thing I don't want. So I hope you understand. Yep, we understand all well, Simeon. We will work according to your plan. And we know there's a reason why you gave us this prisoner's outfit, too. Yep, you're right, there's a reason behind the outfit, too. Cause you see, if the cop sees you from a further distance, they will think that you're some escapees from the prison. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Alright then, let's strike them. When they lower their guard, the plan is all set, my boys will do their thing. And you make sure that you do yours as well. All right, Mikey, my dog, let's do this thing. But first, let's go and discuss our plan. As Simeon said, we will strike them when they are low on their guard. <laughs> All right, Franklin, are you guys ready to do this? Cause my boys sure are. Of course we are, dog. They will begin their show just in a while. And when they do, they will attract the cops' attention towards them. And when the cops are all separated, then you know what to do. Yeah, we know exactly what to do. Don't worry, chill down, bro. We got this. All right, then. Just let's hope for the best. Good luck, guys. See you later after the heist. Oh, yeah. Of course, dog. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. 
man, I can't believe this! I just lost to a girl! Man, this sucks! Anybody else? Who wants to face our champion, Rachel, and win the ultimate price of $10,000? Let's see who has the bigger balls than Rachel man, herself! She's really You sure are strong! I will give you that. But when it comes to a bigger ball, nobody is better than me. Let's go, Rachel. I accept your challenge. All right, then. Let's do this. Let's see what you got. Come on, girl! Is this the best you got? Man, I thought you could have been real challenge. It looks like I was wrong. You have disappointed me. Hey, babes, look what I got. That is so damn big. I really love it. And with that, it's all over. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm the winner. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Ah, uh, man, this is... This is just horrible. I can't believe you guys. You guys are sort of cheater. You distracted me with your balloons. Yeah, we have heard that one before. And heck, everyone says the same thing after losing to a girl. You should have focused on the match, but you were the one who felt for that. So you lost. There's nothing to complain now. Ain't that right, Rachel, my champion? Just stop running your mouth. You really are pissing me off. You guys are cheater and you know that. Just accept your defeat. Oh, just shut up, you perv. You lost crystal clear. So you accept your defeat, not us. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm gonna make you pay, bastard. Oh, you wanna fight, huh? All right, then bring it on, sucker. And just like this, a brawl broke out between all of them, and the officers couldn't let this go unnoticed, so they quickly started marching towards the scene as it was happening right in front of the police oh, station. Ah! Jesus! Everyone, let's go and stop them before they kill each other. Let's go, let's go, everyone. You bastard! How dare you lay your hands on me? I'm a trained fighter, so you got no chance of defeating me. You little bitch! Rachel, get out of here. It's the cops. Meet me at our designated location. It's all done! The cops are away from the car now. Let's hope they pull this through. <laughs> all right, Mikey, my dog. Let's hurry up and do this. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Are you okay, man? What the hell is wrong with you? You're not hurt now, are you? Ah, man, I slipped. But it's okay, don't worry, I'm okay. Just let's hurry up and open the shutter. All right, if you say so, I'm on to it. Just hold on for a sec. <laughs> oh, man. All right, dog. Let's get now, in and collect the car. This is the life. What the fuck? Jesus. What? Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me, man. All right, you assholes. Hurry up and raise your hands. You can't fool me. I knew this was a trap all along. Now I'm gonna get rewarded for catching you guys and for protecting this car. Ha <laughs> man, that's so cool. I can't wait for that. Hey, 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 you two. Raise your hands. Come on, do it now. Okay, all okay, you officer. Need, you calm down, calm down. We will do as you say. Just don't shoot, all right? You still are, huh? Man, who the hell do you think you are? You want rewarding? Reward my ass. Hey, Mikey, bro, hurry up and get in the car. Let's get out of here now. Well, that was a fine shot. Good job, kid. You did really good. <laughs> oh, man, that's so cool. This car is rainbow nice. Look, Franklin had changed its color. This is really wonderful awesomeness loaded. This car is pure perfection. But can this car really fly, Franklin? Of course it can, dog. Just let me get the controls right. All right, that button was for the weapon. Hey, Where hey. the flying car button is? Where is it? Oh, man. Where is that button? What's wrong, Franklin? The cops Kill are catching us. us. Why out. isn't the car flying in the air? I don't know. I guess something is wrong. Man, this hey, wind hey, feels hey, weird. Simeon. Hey, Simeon, you bastard! Why isn't this car flying? Can you please tell us the controls? Oh, crap, oh, crap. Don't tell me you stole that car! Of course we did! Why, what's wrong with that? After all, this was the plan. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I was informed wrong. That it's the flying car! Just please hurry up and get out of there. Don't get caught! Do whatever it takes you to escape. Just escape from the cops. Calm it down! Damn you, Simeon, damn you! All right, Franklin, you heard the man. Hurry up, use the boosters, and let's get out of here ASAP. Okay, okay, sure thing. Damn that Simeon. Here's the money that Simeon promised. Well done, my sweetheart. You did really good. I'm proud of you, my angel, Rachel. No, we both did good. I'm proud of you to Gabriel. And on the other hand, 
Franklin and Michael escape to a place where no body goes, just so that they can hide from the cops. So let's see what's gonna happen. Really, Franklin? Is this the best place you can come up with? What if a train passes by? Then what will we do, huh? Come on, man! I didn't have any choice left, and no train is gonna pass us. Didn't you see they still haven't repaired the track, so this place is our best spot from the cops? Oh yeah, you were right, man. Look, they couldn't find us. We are clear to go now. Man, you're just awesome, Franklin. Sure thing. Sammy and you bastard, what in the hell was this all about? You nearly got our ass killed. It's a good thing we got lucky and escaped them. I'm sorry, Franklin. You see, I got played by my co-worker. He tricked me into believing that the car was with the cops. But later I found that he was lying. But now you don't have to worry about the flying car. Cause I know where exactly it is now. I dealt with my co-worker and got the location of that car. I'm just sorry for all that, and I'm glad that you guys are okay now. Yeah, right, bastard. So what do we do now? We are stuck in here, in the broken track, and what about this car that we just stole from the cops? We don't want to be a suspect again. So you got any plan, eh, old man? Oh, don't worry. I will send some of my loyal men. Who can get you out of there? Just throw the mask and clothes that you guys are wearing right there. So even if the cops sees you, they won't be able to recognize you. And for the car, my man knows where to hide that. Yeah, all right, old man. Send them quick. So, what should we do now, Franklin? Now we go back to Simi to get the real location of that car. He is sending some of his men to pick us up. You got your inners, don't you, Mikey? Of course I got them. And later some of Simeon boys showed up. And later they picked Michael and Franklin from the broken track. Michael and Franklin left their clothes right there. So even if the cop sees them, they won't recognize it was them. And the other Simeon guy took the cyberpunk car to their hiding location. So let's see what happens next. A few moments later... You bastard, what in the hell was that all about? You nearly got both of us killed. I didn't trust you from the moment I met you. But Franklin, he... He always trusted you, man. And now you broke his trust, too. How could you do that, you piece of shit? I should have known better. Hey, you hey, were a hey, scum and you down, will always Michael. be a scum. I'm sorry, man. That will please never forgive change. me. You Just thought that I didn't talk shit me on the once. phone. Means I'm okay with it. No, I'm not okay with it, you bastard. I feel like destroying your bald Just head stop, right stop, about stop. now. Stop. Calm down and just listen to me for once. All right, bastard, go ahead and explain yourself. <coughs> What just happened was a mistake. I know that too. Instead of playing, I got played by my co-worker. He lied to me about the car. And until I found that it was too late, cause you guys had already stole that car. Heck, I explained everything to Franklin on the phone. I had no intention of getting you guys arrested. Please believe me, I would never think of betraying you guys. Yeah, Michael, I think Simeon is saying the truth. If he would have lied to us, then he sure wouldn't have called us, and heck, he wouldn't have explained us anything, but he did, so he is really saying the truth. Thank you for believing me, Franklin. I now know where the flying car is, because I dealt with my co-worker and even got the location from him. It's near Sandy Shores. The car belongs to a mafia, a named, mafia Dango. named Dango. A mafia named Dango, huh? Never heard that one before. Well, I guess it shouldn't bother me. Let's go, Franklin. Let's get that car from Django. Hey, it's Dango, not Django. All right, guys, good luck. Yeah, Django Dango. Whatever, who cares anyway? Just let's steal that car from them. So, Mikey, my dog, got any plan on how we are going to steal that car from them? No, I got nothing. I'm pissed as already as it is with that last incident of the cops. Please just don't annoy me with this planning things. Just let's go there and fight them and win the battle and steal that car. Does that sound good enough for you? You sure are in a bad mood. All right, we are here. <laughs> it looks like they're partying. Oh man! Shit! Oh shit! Uh oh! Oh man! You see that? It's right there. Look, Michael. It's the flying car. Simeon was right this time. I'm sure that's the future flying car that we wanted. Oh my! That looks amazing. Really magnificent. I love this car. <laughs> Woo! You hit that jump. Hey, what you doing out here, Mark? Trick? You know you don't belong here. Ah, uh, then get the fuck out of here, man. Somebody must have fucked you up today. You know you don't belong over here, nigga. Shut the fuck up! I'm not having a good day! So stop running your mouth. Call your boss, Django. Let's talk about it. Or if you want the other way, let's fight about it. So what will it be? You gonna hand man, that car to us or what? Relax. Hey, man, chill, chill. Calm the fuck down, man. There are a lot of them. We can't fight them all. Just relax. Let me do the talk. Why are you staring at my face? You a snitch? 
You ain't in the safe place, homie. What the hell are you staring at me for? You wanna get fucked up? <laughs> you done fucked up now. Bad move being here. Come on! Let's in this shit! You motherfucker! Yeah? Yeah? Fucking yeah! Who do you think I am, asshole? I'm Michael Townley, the fucking gangster. You wanna fight, eh? Come on, let's do this. Bring it on, you suckers. Just let me go, let me go, Franklin. Hey, chill the hell down. Shut Calm down, up, man, relax. Stop being a fool. We can't defeat them all, so stop yep, this foolishness. that's what I expected, a pussy. You bastard, what did you just say to us? Huh, come on, lose a pussy now. Come on, fight me, you suck. Fight me. We, we are, are gonna, gonna kill, kill you. How dare you lay your hands, your hands on our men? Michael, what did I say about not fighting? Look, we are up. Now. What should we do now? I can't help myself. They are the ones who pissed the fuck out of me. And heck, you're the one who threw the first punch on them. Hey, hey. Mm, hello, beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a good backup has arrived. Let's go, let's go. All right, if it ain't our homie, Trevor. Oh, man, he really saved now, the day. This is the life. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> surprised to see me. You should be. You see, Simeon saved me for the last to surprise you with some backup, and I guess I delivered it perfectly. Oh, hell yeah. That was a hell of an entry. You really saved the day, Trevor. Thanks for helping us out, oh, dog. Oh, yeah, of course he did. All right, you guys, that's enough talk for now. Just let's go and get the flying car before all this bastard race spawn. Oh, sure thing. As you say, Mikey, bud. All right, you guys, thanks for helping us out. You all can go now. And oh, yeah, take my car along with you. You might be needing that on the way. See you later, you guys. Oh, okay, Trevor. Goodbye, see you later. And just like this, Trevor saved the day. Michael thought that Simeon was playing with them, but Simeon was not. He was actually helping them. And now they have finally captured the flying car. So, let's hear it from Franklin, Michael, and Trevor himself. Shit! Whoa! Oh, man, this is the oh, light. Man, this is was a fun thing. surprise. Yeah. Oh, how exciting! This is Come just on. amazing! Marvelous, let's magnificent, both of you. This is just outstanding. Yeah. I love this goddamn flying car. Oh, man, it has got some boosters as well. This is really amazing. So you see that? Oh, man. Man, this uh -oh. is just awesome. I love this shit. Tesla supercar. Oh, just look at the car. This is really next level. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Wish we could have afford this car. Hey, just back off, you two. This is a car that you can never afford. Hey, 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 Benjamin, don't you dare touch that car with your filthy what hands. What the what? Just stay back and leave that car alone. What the? Hey, what? What, what, Franklin? You know that I'm speaking the truth. That car, right? That cost more than you can even expect off. That only belongs to rich people and rich car dealership like me and my client over here. So stop dreaming already. Go drive your million dollar car or whatsoever. You suck, Simeon, and as well as your cars. You always sell cursed cars. What? Yeah, that's right, cursed cars. What is he saying, Simeon? Do you really sell cursed cars or what? Is he telling the truth? Come on, tell me, Simeon, tell me. No, not at all, my friend. Have you ever heard of a car being cursed? No, right? He's just bluffing because he doesn't want anyone to purchase that car unless it's him. Yeah, I guess you are right. Los Santos peoples are really fool. They believe in everything. Even a cursed car. Well, I guess he is just lying for himself. <laughs> Did you hear that, Franklin? You are a sore liar. That's what we believe. Damn you, Simi. Damn you. I'm not liar here. Maybe this stunner will knock some sense into place. And that's the famous move, stunner. Dad, you really nailed it. But Simi and sell that bad. But still, it was oh awesome. Oh my God. I loved hey, it. guards, please stop him. Come over here and get. That him. was for me, and this is for my son Benjamin. How dare you talk to us like that? Hey, you bastards, stay back. How dare you hurt the boss man like that? You know what? Just get your scrawny ass out of here. Just get out of here while you can, or else this won't be. Good. Good for you. 
Jimmy and you son of a bastard. You got lucky if it wasn't for your guards. I would have whooped your ass all over this place. Don't you dare talk to us like that ever again. And as for the car, I will get a Tesla one day. Just you wait and watch. And one more thing, don't you dare call us a liar. Fine, Clint, you bastard. If you weren't my friend, then I would have laid you right here. And now by all these guards, just get out of my sight before I change my mind. And yeah, one more thing before you go, I hope that day never comes when you have a Tesla car. Yeah, in your dreams, pal. You talk big, right? But I do be. Just you wait and watch, sucker. Hey, guys, please give us your power so we can get a Tesla someday. Yeah, guys, that's right. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel and to the video so we can get supercar Tesla someday. Pretty please, guys, do it. Whoa, man, that hurts. Sorry about my friend Dave. Go ahead and choose your Tesla car, anything that you would like. Are you kidding me, Simeon? Do you still expect me to purchase a car after seeing all that? Man, then you must be cray cray crazy. You know what, I will pass on this. Maybe I will purchase the cars later on some day. Hope you understand, Simeon. All right, now bye, see you later, okay? Yeah, whatever. Damn you, Franklin, damn you. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that bastard. All right, boss man. Let's go, we gotta check you too, medical condition. That really looks bad. No, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm fine, just don't worry about me and focus on the job. Well, Franklin ruined everything for Simon, but oh well, he deserved it. So let's see what happens next in the story. Three hours later. Hey, just back off, you two. This is a car that you can never afford. And that bastard Simeon is Roman referee in my head. And even after I thought I'm a lesson, I still think that wasn't enough. How dare he talk to us like that? Guess we really have to do something about this damn situation. Yeah, I guess you are right, Dad. How could he say that we can't afford a Tesla? He has really crossed the damn line. Hey, Dad, you see how about we rob that car? If I remember, there were two of Tesla cars. So let's just rob one without him knowing. Let's go back to our old selves, where we used to this things with ease. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Simeon really deserves this. But remember, Benjamin, we always used to Rob's car. But at the end of the day, we always get caught. So what if this were to be the case this time as well? Oh, don't sweat it, Dad. If we are about to turn ourselves into like the old Benjamin and Franklin, then we gotta act like that way to remember how we used to shift blame on others. What the hell were this you has thinking? Always worked Come for on, us. tell me. Tell me, you little shit. Just stop acting innocent, father. You're the one who sent me to steal it. I stole the car on your orders. Now that I'm caught, you're putting all the blame on me. Please stop lying and tell the truth. So we will do the same thing if we would get caught, that is, which is most likely not gonna happen. But in case that happens, we need info where we can shift the blame on. Yeah, you are right. That always worked for us. But damn, I was the one who always got punished just because of your lies. Man, I hate those days where I had to survive against you and your mom. But oh well, we are passed through that. And now I have a guy in my mind who we can shift the blame. If we are about to get caught, which is most likely not gonna happen, but still, it's best to prepare a plan. And that guy who we are going to shift the blame on is Trevor. Oh yeah, that is what I was thinking. The guy has been denying every request of ours. And after he denying us, he keeps on bragging about his wife this. His wife that. Man, he does this every time, so he is going to pay for this now. Oh, just calm it down, Franklin. That was just a joke. If you want to get serious, then that's your problem. And by the way, can you please go now? I want to have some alone time with my babes over here. So yeah. please do me a favor and get oh, going already. Yeah, we are going, you psychos, now. man. Later that night. All right, Benjamin, I have informed your mom that we will be late at home. I said that we are staying late night at Michael's house for some party, and she agreed on that. Now we don't have anything to worry about. Oh, yes, this is the way I like. If she knew that we are back to our old that selves so doing this stuff, then she would be freaking mad and eat us alive like a monster. It's a good thing you lied and gave her a reason for the late night. Let's keep this a dad and son secret. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, of course, son. All right, Benjamin, we are here. Guess we choose the quick time to do this. The shop is closed and no one is here. The shop is closed and no one is here. This is our chance. All right, Benjamin, you stay right here in the car. I will break in and get the car. And when I get the signal, follow me by the car. Yeah, get on the I drive, know to don't drive. you, son? After all, I'm a racing guy's son. Go ahead, Dad, do it. As soon as you get the car, I will follow you. All right, it's a good thing I know about this shop. As soon as I get in, I will destroy those cameras. All right, this is done. Let's get in, you guys. All right, it's all done. It's a good thing I use suppressor or my guns do reduce the sound. Oh, so the door is locked, huh? Well, I have other ways up my sleeve as well. Oh, yes, it's all done. Let's get the F out of here. 
All right, son, get ready. I'm about to take this wheels out. Just follow me nice and slow, all right? Nice and slow. Oh, yes, 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 Dad. I got that. And just like this, Franklin finally stole the Tesla car. But what's gonna happen next? Will Simeon find out who stole the car, or will he not? Keep watching to find out. Woohoo! <laughs> That's what happens when you insult us like that! That serves you right, Simeon. Now, you will never be able to get this car from me. I better hide this somewhere in good place. The next morning. <laughs> oh, damn, someone stole my brand new Tesla cars. How could this have happened? They destroyed all the cameras as well. Why does this always happen to me? Why, why, why? Whoever that was, they are going to pay for this. Yes, of course they're going to pay for this. Whoever did this, they sure knew everything about the shop. But they just did one mistake. They didn't know that we had a secret camera for a moment like this. Remember, boss, the camera that only you and I know about? Oh, yes, at last, a little hope. Let's check the damn camera. I'm sure they must have been captured on this. All right, I can see it, a monkey mask with red outfits. This sure is someone that I know. Oh, wait a minute, I can see a car outside of the shop. Wait a minute, that's Franklin's car. Damn, that bastard should have known that it was him. Just because he can't own that he started stealing uh -huh, my car. so cars. it's Franklin, eh? I had my doubts on him, because this has never happened before. And as soon as he got into a fight with the boss, the car gets stolen. Well, I'd better inform the cops about this. Hey, officers, we need your help. Hey, I'm a guard from Simeon dealership. And last night, Franklin broke into our shop and stole our Tesla car. He has been captured in the camera footage. Please help us and catch that criminal. You know what, turn on Weasel News. You will get more information about this. Okay, I got that. Damn that Franklin is back with his stuffs again. Weasel News right, oh, I can see the car Yeah, that's image. the car officer. I shared the image with Weasel okay, News. Okay, don't worry, we will get him. Just leave that fool to us. Hey, wait a minute. Who in the hell were you speaking to right now? What's this all about Apollo? Isn't it obvious, boss? I was speaking to the cops. I have informed them everything about the car situation. I told them it was Franklin who stole the car. Now you don't have to worry, the cops will get the job done. Why, why, why? Oh, now what is that? What's going on outside of my shop? Weasel News. Breaking news. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Weasel News. I'm your host, Carrie. And we just got an important information to share with you all. This right here is the famous Simeon dealership of Los Santos. And last night, someone broke into their shop and stole the red hot Tesla car. As you can see, this is the car image, which has been shared by the shop guards. So if by any chance you see this car, then please inform to Simeon dealership. And in return, he will reward you with $5,000. You see, boss, I was really worried about you, so that's the reason I even informed Weasel News about this as well, and I shared the Tesla car image as well. In this way, if anyone sees that car, they will be sure to inform us. But now we already know who the culprit is. Guess I should have waited Dad, until seeing the camera Dad, footage. You. Instead of helping me, you have gotten me into more trouble. You bastard, I could have taken care of Franklin myself. But you thought you were the boss's guy and informed everyone about this, the cops, Weasel News, and now the whole world who is watching Weasel News. Oh uh, man, so much for helping you out. Man, you suck, boss. Stay tuned on Weasel News to watch me in my hot balloons. Because I'm the hottest journalist there is in Weasel News. So stay tuned for more of breaking news of Los Santos yeah, and I shot that was excellent. Well done, Carrie. That was absolutely amazing. What the? The car got stolen. It's a good thing that I didn't purchase that vehicle. Or I could have ended in Simeon's position. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shit, shit is this damn thing for real. Guess Sheriff needs to take a look at this. A few moments later. Damn it, you bastard, Franklin! You have really crossed the damn line. I can't believe you guys. This time we will teach you the lesson that you you will never forget. Hurry up, get in the damn car. But what did I do, officer? Why in the hell are you arresting me? Why, you ask bastard. You will know that soon enough. Just let's go to the police station for now. Wait a minute, what the devil is going on? Why were the cops over here? Don't tell me they were here for Franklin and Benjamin. Have they done something wrong or what? If I remember correctly, they told me that they are staying late night at Michael's house. Don't tell me that they were lying and doing something else. Gotta get to the conclusion of this. I better follow them to the police station. What is that you want, Franklin? Time and time we have arrested you for the same thing. There were no report about you and your son for three whole months. I thought that you guys have understood, but I guess I was wrong. Now tell me why in the hell did you rob Simeon's Tesla car? Come on, tell me, don't you dare lie to us. Cause you have been captured in their secret camera. What? What are you talking about, officers? I don't know anything about Simeon's car. Just because I had a fight with him doesn't mean that I start robbing my friends. That bastard is setting this all up so that he can get revenge on me. Just believe me, officer, I'm speaking the truth.
Yes, Officer's dad is telling the truth. They really are setting us up. You know that how CG, I, or nowadays maybe they would have made this camera footage with their men's to show you the footage and fool you. And one more thing, you haven't even found out that car yet. So how could you say that it was us? Just let us go, please, or else if Mom may found out about this, then we will be in real trouble. I don't believe in your crap. You always keep on lying and since... You're so scared of your wife, I guess we will have to call her to get the truth out from you. There's no need to call me officer, because I'm here. Speak of the women, and here she is. Oh, no, 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 not mom. This is not what I expected, man. We are in real trouble, dad. Uh, Franklin! Benjamin! What have you done this time? How dare you do this criminal shit behind my back? You are going to pay for this! No, 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 sweetheart! It wasn't us we haven't done anything wrong. It's the cops that have mistaken us for someone else. Just shut the hell up! We have not mistaken in anything. We are right on the money. We found that Tesla car, and guess what? We found that in your old house. How much a fool can you be to hide it right there? Man, you're so stupid. <laughs> so what now, Franklin? There's nothing else to prove now, is there? All right, okay, okay, kudos, you caught me. But officer, I didn't do this on my own. Trevor, Trevor, that damn bastard forced us to do this. He aimed a gun at Benjamin's head. And that's the reason I couldn't deny but to do this. Please believe me, officer, please. Oh, just shut it already, Franklin! We have heard that in numerous of time. And every time you guys did this, it was all a lie. You don't expect us to believe that fake story. Now, do you Franklin... Oh, yes, there it is, my No, 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 this is not a fake story. Dad, I saying the truth. It was our so-called Uncle Trevor. Oh, hey there, Sheriff. So what are you guys here for? Is there anything that we cops can help you off? Oh, yes, of course. In fact, you guys are the ones who could really help us in this situation. I know that guy over there robbed that car. But to tell you the truth, that car doesn't belong to this damn Simeon. That red Tesla belongs to Vince over here. You see, that car was stolen a week ago, and he already had reported us about the car getting stolen. And this sheriff were searching this car from a week. And we weren't able to found this until now. You see, I know that he robbed the car from Simeon, and that's a bad thing. But robbing a robber isn't bad in my eyes. But still, that was wrong. But if he wouldn't have done that, then I could have never found my car. It's all thanks to him for getting me my car back. Cause you see, when he stole the car, this created a buzz over Simeon's guards. And later they informed Weasel News sharing a photo of that car. And with all that Weasel News publicity, I found my car. In one way, he even helped me get my car back. So I'm thankful to him and the guards. You see that Benjamin, that really worked. What did I say you, huh? Look, we finally found out that the car was really not Simeon's. Guess we are as skilled as a detective. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Dad, you are the best! We lured Simeon in and he falls into our trap! Man, that was awesomely planned by you, Dad! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Enough of your lies, you can't fool us with that. But still, what you did really helped Sheriff a lot. So here's what we are going to do. We will let you off the hook this time. But if you dare to this again, then you will spend your life in prison way more months or years than you can even expect off. For now, you can pay $10,000 fine and leave. Okay, officer, we will do as you say. I will get you the fine tomorrow. Just let us go for now. I promise to come back later and pay the fine. And don't worry, this will never happen again on my watch. Okay, as you say, May. And Simeon, it's about time to get you inside the prison. <laughs> And most of all, thanks to you, sheriffs and the gentlemen. And goodbye, Simeon. Damn, See you, you soon, damn buddy. Bottle, that dumb moron. As soon as I get out of the prison, you will pay for this. Franklin and Benjamin, you may sure have got a chance by the cops, but I won't spare you one. How dare you do this shit till now? I'm gonna beat you, and then I'm gonna kick your arse. No one can save you from me now. Benjamin, run, son, run! Or she's gonna eat us like a monster. If you don't want to get pounded by your mom, then run while you still can, Benjamin. Oh, shit, no, no. Please, Mom, please. Forgive me. It was Dad who started this. Please, yeah, Mom, I please. know he is going to pay for this. Here, take this, and damn you as well, Benjamin. You're not going to get away as well. You both are going to pay. Just Unless Franklin and Benjamin learn their lesson. Do this again, so this is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later in my next video. Until then, see you later and keep smiling.